Hey, this is BR Fifth Fighter, and uh, just watched a video from uh, Dragon Ball Jiu Jitsu uh, talking about a subject that I've touched on before, but has to do with desktop status. And uh, personally, I like a clean desktop. Uh, I'm kind of like Dragon Ball, and I don't like a lot of clutter on my desktop. Uh, so, what I thought I would do is do a comparison between. Uh, Ubuntu Nipic Remix, you know, that I run on my, uh, that, that I'm running on my, uh, Aspire, and, uh, and the desktop that I've got it set up on my, on my full-blown desktop system, also a, a Linux and Ubuntu desktop. Now, as you can see with, uh, UMR, uh, you know, this is the default set. You have this for, I guess, uh, you call it mini bar or whatever. I mean, overall, things pretty clean, you know, as you, as you click these different buttons on the left-hand side, it opens up it opens up and gives you re really access to pretty much your whole computer and uh and and the default program applications you need to uh you know to run thing and and for a for, for a small computer for for a netbook with a you know with smallish keyboard and a limited desktop real estate i think it kind of makes sense uh you know it, it is what it is and, you know if you want to uh uh, if you want to run like the regular full blown uh, GNOME desktop or KDE desktop, you find in in, uh, in the regular distribution of Ubuntu, you can. Uh, of course, there's a lot of stuff uh, with Netbook re Remix that's under the hood. That, that, that the OS is actually optimized to run on a lower power item processor, uh, and uh, you know, with you know, running under you know, two gigs, uh, this this computer only has gig RAM in it. So, anyway, that's uh, sort of the whole reason why you run this particular OS, is not so much for the UI, but for what's under the hood, and the fact that, uh, you know, I installed this and everything just works. Uh, no special drivers for the webcam, no special driver for the wireless card, uh, mouse pad, anything, you know, this, uh, it, it really is optimized for hardware, even as bad as a as painless a Linux install as you're ever going to have. I'm kind of getting off topic here. Talking about desktop aesthetics, having a clean desktop, and uh, I prefer that. I think this is pretty clean. You know, you, to change anything, it would be uh, the option not to have any of these tabs open. You know, to close everything up, you know, until you actually click on it and need something. So anyway, this is the UNR desktop. And Next, I'll uh, bring up the regular, uh, regular boot. All right, so now here we have my full balloon, my full, my full blown Ubuntu desktop, and uh, as you can see, no icons. Got a few gadgets or widgets or whatever you want to call running over here. And this is actually only half my desktop. I'm, I've got it's it's a dual screen, so I've got. I've got it split over to the other side as well, but that's my television, so I've got the TV on over there. Uh, you know, for access to my programs, I've got Avant Window Navigator. Got my most frequently used stuff down here. And for quick access to my folders, created this uh, little uh, launch bar over here on the side my videos, my documents, my pictures, and then that slides cleanly out of the way. And of course anything else. I've got my regular GNOME menu up here at the top. So, and yes, I use this computer quite a bit and no, just <coughs> just because you don't clutter up your desktop with a lot of shortcuts and icons does not mean that you don't use your computer and you can keep your computer very usable and very well organized uh, you know again and that's one of the things that I like about Ubuntu is and this desktop environment is just how configurable it really is uh, lose some of that configuration in the netbook edition 
uh, that's okay too. I think that's fairly well designed for the system it uses. And I'll ran on Windows 7 just a tad here, or at least Windows 7 starter. You really can't, there's not much you can change about that one. So, but again, probably a decent environment for a netbook. So, this is BR Tidwell 55, and thanks for watching.